Islam sheet doing about the day. Islam. Um, it is August the 23rd, 2022, and I'm leaving now. It's about, it's going on 4.30. It's not 4.30 yet, I don't think. So I'm leaving now. I'm a Moorish American nation. I, I'm changed back into my shirt. Islam, how are you doing today? I am well. It's, it's, it's interesting. This lady uh, just walked in. Uh, when I first came to um, Berge, um, Annapolis, Maryland, uh, you know, we came last week of May of 2016. And when we got settled, we started to um, go to the Temple 13 in Baltimore this, uh, on Fridays after we got off work. And, you know, we will be walking back like around one and two in the morning um, and we had to be at work Saturday but nonetheless I would see this lady she looked African-American and then another another male who looked to be Hispanic or Spanish speaking uh, mongoloid the lady um, would be laying on the bench this is like 1 32 in the morning then I used to go to the library a lot to use the computers, mainly to communicate with you and, um, in Annapolis. I'm walking distance from Burger King is about 20 minutes away. Um, and then I noticed she would show up at um, the library. And because of, because of the oddness of it, I remember I had my um, tablet or some form of um, my tablet or whatever and she thought so she she complained at the library uh, the african-american lady she complained saying um, I was videotaping or I, I shouldn't be able to videotape her she called the cops and this is at the library and the library has um, cameras so she called the cops okay then I remind you she the way back for Bay this is when we first came to Annapolis. And so when we would be, when we would walk back from um, the bus station at Annapolis to a city of America, it would take roughly an hour and 30 minutes. And we would see, um, I didn't know because we were new to Annapolis, I didn't know why I would see the African American lady and that looked to be Hispanic laying on the bench on the bench as we walked by them. This is like 1 32 in the morning. And you know, it's like okay, why are they laying on the bench? But I didn't know. Then um, a few times we would see uh, a truck, a pickup truck driving around with a rebel flag and a chain on the back of it. And then this car, and then this um, car with uh, what would be looked to be full of African Americans, male and female, will pull up beside us and say, "Are you okay? Are you okay? Can we help you?" So, okay. So imagine about 1:32 in the morning. Uh, it takes about I don't know three hours approximately to get to Baltimore. Three hours back, you walking, and because um, you're using the, uh, we use the bus and the train, and then. You see a pickup truck in Maryland that has a rebel flag with a chain on the back of it uh, dragging and then a group of black males and females in a car will pull up and be like, can we help you? Are you okay? Are you okay? And I was like, yes, we're fine. Uh, or we're well. Let me say not fine. Well. And um, then the African American lady that um, recently um, that was coming in a Burger King still do. At first, I didn't see her at Burger King that much or hardly ever. And then I start after that time when I had to call the um, what she called the cops at the library because she said I was videotaping her. That's when I started to see her more prevalent at Burger King. So she was she would be laying on the bench. With, it looked like a um, Spanish-speaking male, Mongoloid, Hispanic, made from Mexico or South America, Central America, on a bench. Also, when we would walk past uh, like these gas stations, uh, 
uh, somebody that looked like uh, Mexican or South Central, South Central American, um, I don't know, that, that, that phenotype would be speaking Spanish really, really loud when we walked by. Nonetheless, um, what was odd when I uh, started to see uh, her around, and then when I was at the library, she called the cops because she was like afraid I was videotaping her at the library. And the cops was like, can you not videotape her? I was like, I'm using my, I'm using my tablet. And, she, and I refused. And he was like, well, can you leave? I was like, yes, I can leave. But I didn't understand why I cannot videotape. I said, there's video um, cameras all around and why she's afraid I'm videotaping her. Okay, just this past week, I was in the bathroom, and so I've been noticing her coming in the Burger King quite a lot uh, lately. Just this past week, I was in the bathroom, well, she was in the bathroom when I came in to the bathroom. I, um, I had to use the bathroom really, really bad. And so when I came in the bathroom, I saw that she was there, and I um, just grabbed some tissue, and she was at the sink washing her hands. And I said, I grab tissue because I like to wet my tissue before I go, to go inside the stall and use it. And I use the wet tissue with a little soap to wipe myself. And many times I do that. And I was like, and the water was running. I said, and I really, and I was like, literally about to urinate on myself. So I was like, I just need to damp this tissue a little bit. And she said, oh my, are, are you serious? I just honestly, I just, um, I didn't think it would be a big deal because her hands were down, and I just did like that. That's a damp the tissue, and I went and used the bathroom really, really quick, and because I was about to urinate on myself. When I came out the bathroom, she started to speak about how she was. Um, she was at the front counter, and she started to speak about what happened. She was. Uh, she said I bum rushed her or something like that, and I apologize. I, I said I'm glad I didn't touch you, I, and I made sure I said I didn't touch you. I was just needing to damp my tissue. I think Mindy was standing next to me. I'm pretty sure Mindy was, and that Mindy was in um, was listening to the conversation. I just ta um, ta um, d literally just damped the tissue really bad, and real quick. I just had to use the restroom, and I, I, I'm glad I didn't touch you. You didn't touch me, you know, so forth. Made sure I said that because uh, she said bum rush, and she was talking about how she been coming to Bird King um, since she was a child. So. Um, Nonetheless, this goes back to, um, I mean, this is, um, once again, we first came to Annapolis uh, the last week of May <laughs> 2016, and then we got settled, and then we were going, we would be leaving, uh, coming back from Temple 13, Morris American National Republic, Morris Science Temple, walking, and we would see, this, and, I, and it was her, lying on the bench, on, and, um, not every time, but I definitely, uh, uh, I remember, can't tell you how many times, with, um, looked like um, somebody that looked that speaks Spanish next to her. And so this was in 2016 or whatever. So I didn't know why she was, she was out sitting on the bench or lying on the bench at um, like 1.30 a.m. And when I say 1.30, I'm referring to 1.30, 2 a.m. Um, this is, I'm not saying in the afternoon. We got off, I mean, this is like 1.30, 2, 2.30 a.m. in the morning. So, um, and it's going back also to, once again, us walking and hearing, um, seeing the pickup truck with the rebel flag driving around. And then these black male and females will pull up saying, <laughs> they would just come up and drive next to us. Once again, we were new to Annapolis, and I didn't know why this was, why we were experiencing, but I was like, okay. They were like, can we help you? Um, are you okay? I was like, yes, we're, we're okay. We're well, we're fine. You know, I, I probably use the word fine, but I hope now I don't use the word fine too much. So, um, and um, then as time went on, other things started to escalate where I had to call the cops reference to uh, inappropriate behavior predominantly have been black males um, and only one that looked to be pale skin so I, um, I 
just I just thought about that because as I was walking out of Burger King, she came in Burger King, and my first thought was being at the library. Then I was at the library. This is after the times I would see her, at, you know, around Annapolis. It's definitely like one thirty, two in the morning on the bench on the side, you know, with it looked like a mongoloid Hispanic. I'm not definitely that um that look. Um, sitting there so and she was like when I was at the library she was afraid I was videotaping her or taking her picture it's long but anyway that um, this what just happened about the tissue and I was in the bathroom so she was she was washing her hands the water's coming out because it's automatic and I was rushing uh, but I didn't touch her I said hi I said I just really need to damp this tissue really really fast and she was like, are you serious? I was like, oh. I, but I, had, I was in the process of death. And I just, I went on here in the bathroom. Then I came out. I apologized to her again because she was speaking up saying I bum rushed her. I was like, I didn't touch, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful I didn't touch you. You didn't touch me. I apologize. I just, I had to use the restroom. Really, uh, so nonetheless, um, I'm glad I saw her just now because now I spoke about it. It's August the 23rd, I think it is, 2022.